Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Pokemon Soul Silver. We are at the Elite Four now, to which we are three members deep, getting ready to take on the fourth member. We've taken on Will, the Psychic Type Trainer, Koga, the Poison Master, and we just defeated Bruno, the Fighting Type Master, as well. Now we're going to take on one of my personal favorite trainers, Hubba Hubba, is Karen, the fourth member of the Elite Four, a Master of Dark Type. With its high defense moves like Double Team and Confuse Ray, her Umbreon is the biggest obstacle. Switch out your Pokemon as needed. Once Umbreon goes down, the others can be taken out with brute force and super effective attacks. Ice type attacks do well against your Vileplume and Murkrow. Vileplume is considered dark type? That's weird. Her Houndoom, God, I want one of those, can raise its power with nasty plot. So take it down quickly with water or fighting attacks. However, one must be aware of her Gengar's destiny bond. So she has five total Pokemon, Umbreon, Vileplume, Murkrow, Gengar, and Houndoom. So she has actually three Gen 2 Pokemon. That's more than anybody else so far, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, all right, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we got. Um, who do I think is probably the most effective? It depends on who she brings out first. I'm going to go ahead and just stick with Furret for now, just to kind of see how it goes. Let's see what happens. I am Karen of the Elite Four. You're Mark. <laughs> how amusing. I love Dark-type Pokemon. Wow, that was a segue. I'm known for my overpowering tactics. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. I'll entertain you, Karen. Oh my lord. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh wow, look at that that step. Goodness, those high heels. Woo! All right, Umbreon is first. We did have an Umbreon. I loved him so much, but he was useless in battle. Now, this particular Umbreon knows Dark Pulse. And, oh my God. Hold on. Wait. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong things. That that can, never mind. I got. I was looking at Houndoom's moves, and I was like, how in the hell does it know those things? No. Uh, Umbreon level 42 knows the ability of Synchronize, so I can't do any status moves to it because I'll get that back. It knows Double Team, Confused Ray, Faint Attack, and Payback. Faint Attack and Payback are the two Dark type moves. This Vile Plume situation confuses me. Gengar as well, but Vile Plume in particular. All right, let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and uh, do some damage with our fighting attack of strength. Let's see what happens here. We have elemental uh, advantage with the, uh, or stab, I guess I should say, with strength and level advantage, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to knock out Umbreon because it can be kind of tanky. Yep. Didn't even break it out of the green. Double team is going to increase its speed or evasiveness. I forget which one. Evasiveness, okay. Strength again. Nope, we missed. Ah, and then he's going to confuse me. I do have full heals for this. And I, I only discovered this over the past few videos that uh, that that'll, that full heals will help out against confusion. Which begs the question, like, why is it that there is no, like, status, uh, I, I guess, abbreviation for it? That's what I was looking for. Like, wouldn't you think that they would put, like, CNF for confuse or something like that? I don't know. Also, if it's synchronized, wouldn't it also become confused? I guess maybe that's how they get they skirt around it. Abilities and stuff like that maybe don't apply to confusion? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it did it! Nice. Umbreon is down. Suck on that, baby. Big gains, big gains. Send in Gengar. Okay, so Gengar is second strongest one on the team. Also not a dark type. Also doesn't even know any dark type moves. It's a ghost and poison type. Pokemon at level 45 with the move or the ability levitate. Um, I will switch out for this actually because my normal type moves don't work. I know Furret knows Surf and that's great, but I'm gonna throw out Jolteon who has one level over Gengar. Gengar has Focus Blast, Destiny Bond, Spite, and Lick. Still never got my Gengar. Just didn't really find the need for it. Um, I'm gonna go Thunder. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, thank F. That'll do maybe half or a little over half damage. Oh my lord, a one hit. Jolteon, thank Christ, you actually were useful here. Absolutely amazing. Houndoom. Oh, he's she's going all out. Um, okay. You know what? Let's have a little fun with this. Let's do fire fire v fire. Although, now that I make that choice, I kind of regret that, because Typhlosion doesn't have any alternate fire moves. Okay, so this Houndoom is a dark and fire type. I want one on the team so bad, and I will eventually. Its ability is Flash Fire. It's holding the Citrus Berry, just like all the other members of the Elite Four, their final strongest Pokemon holding the Citrus Berry. At level 47, it knows Nasty Plot, a dark type status move, Dark Pulse, which is one of my favorite moves, Flamethrower, my actual favorite move, and Crunch, another fantastic move. This is going to be nasty. Uh, I'm gonna throw... Oh, shit. Talking Mushrooms. Okay, so Flash Fire isn't gonna work 
for me because that means none of my all of my fire moves are gonna do nothing. Um Alakazam is useless here too. Alright, you know what? Let's play around with Furret. Furret has level advantage and surf. You're, you got this, baby. You got this, baby. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I'm gonna headbutt you. I headbutt you. That did way more damage than I thought. All right, I'm gonna go again. Oh, you were able to use your berry and then strike me. That makes sense. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'll be real. I did not see that coming. Uh, Kingdra can do the damage and carry against Houndoom, but I want to see if Jolteon has what it takes. This is a good test. Let's go Thunderfang, baby. It's not going to be a 1 in KO. It'll do a little bit of damage, but it's enough to... There we go. Flamethrower is so beautiful. That's not a one at KO. There's no way. 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 We got burned. Now I'm going to be hurt with the burn. That's going to be barely hanging in there. Oh, okay. We can't risk it. I could I could risk it and hit him, but I'm not going to. We're going to go full restore. I feel bad for Furret. Bring him back in a minute. If I'm Karen, I'm going to do the same thing against Houndoom right now. Did a lot of damage. I need to hit him, and I need to hit him now. If it survives, Karen has to use a full restore. The fact that she didn't... Oh, okay, no, it's over. I can't believe she didn't do that. A lot of points right there. Oh. Murkrow. Nope, I got this. Murkrow is the one who's, like, the least of my concerns. Murkrow at level 44, a dark and flying type that knows the ability Super Luck. What the heck does that mean? Super Luck. Introduced in Gen 4. Super Luck increases the critical hit ratio by one stage. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, there we go, I guess. That's what it really says. Hit it with a Thunder Fang. It knows Sucker Punch, a dark type move, faint attack, a dark type, there it is. Sucker Punch. Pluck, a flying move. Whirlwind is normal? I thought for sure that Whirlwind would have been a flying type move created with wings. Let's not use full restore. Let's use a hyper posh. Oh, it's right. And as a bird, as a flying type, I forgot. Electricity zaps the hell out of this thing. Okay, so yeah, Murkrow is going to go down. I'm not going to waste any uh, Thunder Fangs because the power points are low. We'll go Thundershock on this. That's a normal type move. I'm not worried about it. Oh, that blows him out of battle. Shh. Forgot about that. Oh, I'm going to swap back. That's not how we're going to do that. Jolteon needs to redeem itself. He's let me down so much with poor accuracy. Show me that you've earned it. Show me you've earned a spot on this team, dude. Show me that you're worth being on this team. And I won't kill you. All right. Thundershock has 24 out of 30 power points. I don't think this will be a KO, but it'll be in the low orange, low red. Okay, one hit KO. I'm glad I was wrong. All right, the final Pokemon on her team is the Grap po Grass... Grap? <laughs> grass Poison type Pokemon Vileplume at level 42 with the ability of Chlorophyll. Chlorof Chlorophyll. Um, let's see. Do I want to take him on... You know what? Actually, I'm going to teach her a lesson. We're going to go ahead and use Alakazam here, specifically because... What the hell? God damn it. I'm trying to click the... There we go. Wrong button. Because it's not a Dark-type Pokemon at all. It's a Grass-Poison-type Pokemon that knows Stun Spore, Petal Dance, Acid, and Moonlight. There's absolutely no reason for this Pokemon to be on the team. Especially considering if you want to sort of be like, okay, Poison and Dark, they're hand-in-hand. This is far from being backed into a corner. It only knows acid as a, as a poison move. Those are grass moves. Well, it's normal, I guess, but... Hey, you're gonna regret that, Karen. Suck on this. Put you down. It might live. 
Nope, you didn't, because it's not a dark type and it's not resistant or immune. Heh. <laughs> okay, now Karen, give me your phone number. Well, aren't you good? I like that in a trainer. <laughs> I bet you do, you know what I'm saying? Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is only the self-perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win Pokemon they love best. I like your style. You understand what's important. Go on, the champion is waiting. All right, well, let's go. Let me move. Yeah, we need to get the bag and heal up a little bit. Uh, day don't day. No, it is. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, revive. Forte. Jolteon's taking a little damage, 99 out of 138. For it is now restored 79 HP, bringing it to half. We will hyper -posh these guys and bring them out. Yeah, so we've taken on the Elite Four and we've come out triumphant, but that still leaves the champ. Would have been dope if it was still blue slash Gary from the first game, but we'll see him again anyway. All right, cool. We're going to go ahead and save it. Again, sorry for the short video. I told you and set expectations about this earlier that each one of the Elite Four fights is going to be dedicated to its own individual video per member of the Elite Four. So, hope you're good with that. In any case, that's a wrap on this short video. Probably the shortest one of the channel. Or, uh, shortest one of the playthrough, rather, on the channel. Um, in any case, if you enjoyed this video, share your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and I community discord server if you want to be part of that group you can chat with me directly otherwise just know that i appreciate you and your time and just know that i hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of pokemon soul silver all right guys that's it for me take care be well see you next time